It's the most seismically active state in the U.S., has more coastline than the rest of the country combined, and has a state flag designed by a 13-year-old. That's awesome. Its population density is one person per square mile. A majority of its residents are men. Ooh, yeah. And it's where, allegedly, someone can see Russia from their house. <laughs> You're listening to Queer Money episode number 481, and today we're sharing the most affordable, LGBTQ plus friendly city to live in, Alaska. Now, on with the show. The mission of Queer Money is to financially empower the LGBTQ plus community. Join us in thanking Capital One for supporting that mission. All right, we're continuing our Queer City series covering the most affordable LGBTQ plus friendly city in each state. Today, we're visiting the great state of Alaska, where David and I had the pleasure of visiting in 2023. Three, no, 20, 2013. Yeah, 2013. Yeah, we went to uh, quite a few cities, Delta Junction, Anchorage, Fairbanks. We went through Denali Park on the Great Train. I can't remember what the great name is. Great Train Ride is what you call it. Yeah. Uh, which it was just a, it's a, um, it's a, it has a window top, so you can see pretty much all over um, as you're driving through, the, or I guess riding through the great state of Alaska. It's pretty, pretty scenic. And there was a bar. Yeah, and we saw... Uh, Denali Mountain twice, two days in a row, which is very rare because I guess only 30% of the time it's actually viewable because most of the time it's clouded uh, over and we were fortunate to see it two days, two days in, a row. in a row. Yeah. And then we drove through Sarah Palin's state, uh, <laughs> city, wasn't it? Wasilla. Wasilla. Yeah, that's where we went there. So, so catch this. If you're looking for a way to generate some additional income, move to Alaska. Why do we say that? Because Every year, they give a stipend to residents from the oil royalties. Try to say that three times fast. <laughs> Last year, residents got $1,300. The year before, though, 2022, residents got $3,284. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a lot that's of money. almost $300 a month if you're looking at it on a monthly basis. Yeah, that's a little very bit of socialism. Social, from the, yeah, I was going to say, very state. socialist for a red state. <laughs> All right, so some details about Alaska. Equal Dex gives it a 70 out of a 100, and it has a higher than average LGBTQ plus population, 18 and over, uh, at 5.9%, or about 33,000 residents. Yeah. Remember, <laughs> not a lot of people there. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. It's not a highly populous state. And for that reason, there were only seven cities on HRC's Municipal Equality Index that were ranked. Um, so you're missing some of the more well-known cities, um, not the major ones. But unfortunately, there's only one city that did get a 100, which is interesting, though. Here's another state that got has at least one city that got a 100. It's a red state. And we've seen blue states that don't have any cities that got a 100. So, yeah. But Alaska also isn't a cheap place to live because no, it's, it's so away, far away. Yeah, it's away from a lot of resources, right? So, no city of the ones that we looked at has a cost of living below 100%. Yeah. And one of the challenges, um, so one of my oldest and best friends lives in Alaska with his family. And one of the challenges that they have is um, it's hard to build houses there, new brand new houses, uh, just because it costs so much money. Uh, you can't really like just chop down trees in Alaska and build houses. It's a lot more complicated than that. And so trying to ship stuff from the lower 48 uh, can be expensive and not a whole lot grows there. Um, to eat wise. Um, so that makes things a little bit costly. However, it's a gorgeous state to visit. So highly recommend uh, checking out if you ever get the opportunity. Uh, and uh, when we went to, were we Anchorage where we saw the best little whorehouse in Texas? Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> it was Debbie Does Dallas. Oh, um, it was Debbie Does Dallas. Yeah. We went to the, a gay bar in Anchorage and the night we were there, we just had drinks and the bartender said, you guys got to come back tomorrow night. We're doing a, a performance of Debbie Does Dallas. Drag queens were doing it. <laughs> and we were like, okay, just that's curious. Queens. And so we went, it was hilarious. They put on a great show and the show uh, didn't just exist on stage. It kind of went throughout the entire bar. So no matter where you sat at one point or another, you were part of the show. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. They did an amazing job. So And a very tight knit community uh, who was very welcoming. So highly recommend it. So that said, who was the runner up? Oh, maybe give it away. Anchorage. Why? Because <laughs> HRC gave it a municipal equality index rating of 83. Home values come in at an average of $376,000 for 
per property. That's the third lowest for Alaska. Rents come in at $1,460 per month for a two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment. It comes in the second highest for Alaska. Cost of living is 115.5%, which is the second highest for Alaska. Average income comes in at $78,000 a year, which is the highest for the state. Median income comes in at $61,000 a year, which is the second highest for the state. Tired of all the credit card offers you get from your current credit scoring app? Download CreditWise by Capital One today to avoid them. All right, folks. So as John mentioned, we are doing our Queer City series, looking at affordable LGBTQ plus friendly cities all around the country, looking at each individual state. If you're watching on YouTube, you can catch that whole series up here. Of course, if you're listening in your podcast player, click that link in your podcast player. Last week, we visited Arizona. Uh, YouTube uh, viewers can catch that video by clicking up here. If you're listening, click that link in the podcast player. This week's podcast love comes from GW910. GW, I like it. <laughs> On Apple Podcasts, they say, Love this podcast so much. As a queer identifying person, I find so many podcasts, quote, miss the mark when it comes to the intersectionality of queerness and finance. Bravo and keep up the good work. Well, thank you, GW910. We appreciate the, the kudos and we'll keep up the good work, hopefully. If you feel inclined, please give us a rating and a review on your favorite podcast player. Or if you're watching on YouTube, uh, please give us a thumbs up and then give us a comment below. All right, so let's dive into our winner. Our winner is the one city that did get a 100 <laughs> on the HRC's Municipal Equality Index, and that is Juno. Now, why Juno? As I mentioned, the 100 is one of the reasons why it bumped up to the top of the list, but there's some other things. Home values come in at $459,000 per property. That is the second highest in the state, but rent is in the middle at thirteen around $1,300 a month for a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. That's about what you got paid last year <laughs> yeah. from the state. <laughs> yeah, so one month's free rent. <laughs> Cost of living is 113% of the, nat uh, of, of the national average, which was the third highest in the state. So cost of living is uh, elevated there. Average income, though, $74,000, second highest in the state, and median income, $61,000, which was the highest in the state. Maybe that has something to do with the fact that so many cruise ships stop in Juneau <laughs> when they're going up that do yeah. that, uh, that Alaska cruise. So yeah, you got a little extra someday. money coming in from tourists and things like that. Damn tourists. <laughs> All right. So some good things about Juno. Well, it's obviously Alaska's capital city. In 2016, it adopted an anti-discrimination ordinance that protects individuals based on sexual orientation and gender expression. Home, uh, It's a home of the Southeast Alaska Gay and Lesbian Alliance, known as SEGLA, S-E-A-G-L-A, -E which you can find more about at S, I'm sorry, at a-K-S-E-A-G-L-A dot org. <laughs> There's also the Alaska Pride Film Festival. And then Juno Pride Center is located, obviously, in Juno, And they host all sorts of Pride events, just not a parade. But the events that they, they host, um, I want to be a part of. There's yeah. the June Pride Ride, the Pride Pub Crawl, the Pride Hike, the Pride Prom. Pride picnic and there's an ice cream social hour, which is probably the most important on that list. Yeah, so there, uh, the closest actual pride parades are in Anchorage and, and Fairbanks. Those are both in June, but it clearly looks like Juno has got some things going on for the community there. Yeah. There are three quote unquote gay neighborhoods or areas of town where the uh, the the uh, queer community kind of congregates. That's downtown the Valley, and Douglas. Um, there's also several support organizations there. Identity Alaska at uh, identityalaska.org is a service organization. And Trans Families, a national organization, uh, at transfamilies.org does support Alaska with various events throughout the year. So, so congratulations, congratulations, Anchorage and Juno. Financial independence with a checking and savings account that doesn't nickel and dime you with fees. Get a Capital One 360 checking or a 360 performance savings account at Capital One today. Make sure you join us on next Thursday's Queer Money bonus episode when we're covering the last most affordable, most gay-friendly cities in the final state of our list, and that is Alabama. If you'd like to see all the results of all the cities we were analyzing, please go to queermoneypodcast.com forward slash cities or click the link in your podcast player if you're listening or click the link right here if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you and have a great weekend. <laughs>